Hey Bulls fans, Adam Harry here with a review of the Drop Zone Commander book, uh, Recon Reconquest Phase 1 from Hawk War Games. Uh, we're trying to expand our Drop Zone Commander coverage and we picked this book up at Gen Con, so I wanted to bust it out. Uh, it should be available shortly if it's not already by the time this video goes. So uh, this is the, the book, it's an expansion to the game, or not really expansion, but uh, extension of the game. Uh, there's more fluff, uh, more backstory. There's new units and new heroes for each faction, and a brand new playable faction, the Resistance, with more heroes as well. So uh, this is the front cover, as you can see here. Uh, the back cover, uh, again, Hawk War Games. Um, super awesome stuff there. I, I met uh, David, who's one of the creators at, at Gen Con. Super nice guy. Really liked his game. Uh, he did the demo. If you haven't seen that yet, go ahead and check it out on the YouTube page. But, uh, yeah, this is the new Drop Zone Commander book. So let's jump on in. Okay, so one of the features I wanted to point out about this book is that this actually does advance the storyline and the setting of the of the Drop Zone Commander universe. Uh, this is Drop Zone Day plus 251 is when the book comes out. So um, that's where the Resistance has been uh, uh, developing the, the 200 plus days since the uh, the core uh, the core cradle planets were invaded by the Scourge. So that's where the, the Resistance come from. If you're familiar at all with the background. Um, so yeah, lots of new stuff. There's a ton of background, ton of new art as well. Uh, it talks about the uh, the reconquest of the Cradle Worlds, uh, some new scenarios, special rules, and again, new stuff for each faction, and then of course, the next at the back. Um, yeah, you go ahead and flip through. Again, new artwork. This is just all the background stuff. Um, I'm not going to read it all or anything like that, but uh, it just goes over the different what's been happening basically it's all written from the point of view of uh some of the resistance guys and then some of the uh the the human uh umc i believe is what they're called so um but what's been what's been going on basically on the different cradle planets so uh join the resistance that was cool i like this one that cool ucm join the reconquest so um people have been holding out against the scourge Backups on the way is is basically uh, a quick two second overview of what's been going on. So and the scourge have obviously been, been prepping for for the throwdown that's coming. So like I said, full color all the way through. Really nice art. Lots of new stuff in there too. Uh, individual planet stuff. Uh, UCM goodness. And then we get into the uh, the scenario section here. So this section goes over the new scenarios that are, are specific to this uh, conquest, reconquest, I guess. And uh, it also has different uh, tournament scoring stuff like that. Because this game is designed for a tournament system. Um, it is designed to be fairly balanced in that regard. Um, one of the things that actually is, is interesting to me about this game is that it's not quite as hardcore as, say, like War Machine, but it's definitely a tighter rule set than like 40k. So uh, that's pretty nice. Uh, saw a lot of these models live at Gen Con. The uh, planetary defense laser is super awesome. Uh, there's a couple other things. Actually, some of the scenarios in the game, uh, in this book, are designed specifically for use with the planetary defense lasers, the monorail, and then also the the landing pad. So lots of different scenarios included. There's the two with the uh, the monorail. Um, this is the uh, these two are for the orbital defense laser, and then I believe yes, this is the underground hangar scenery pack. This thing was really cool. I think that's almost life size, so it's pretty good size uh, model wise. And then the orbital defense laser is super awesome. So and then these new bunkers as well. Um, I really like the fact that they use, you know, buses, old school earth buses, so pretty sweet stuff. Those are just sceneries. Uh, and then it gets into some of the newer rules, which um, they have rare squads, famous commanders, forward air controllers, uh, evas evasion countermeasures, transition units, um, dispersed, dispersed formations, so new infantry rules as well. What else is new here? Devastator weapons, strafing weapons, fragmentation weapons, move through cover weapons, uh, focus fire weapons. So, yeah, and new uh, uh, barrage stuff as well, or cleanup of that. Um, more background info. Lots of cool pictures. So, this is some of the new units as well. Uh, and then it goes into each faction. So, obviously, first up is the uh, UCM, United Colonies of Mankind. They're the ones that are coming back to reclaim everybody. Um, Sniper team, which is new, I believe. Heavy Eagle gunship. 
the new Ferrum class drone base, which launches these bad boys, these cool little drones. Um, longbow howitzer, katana light tank, fire blade light tank as well. Um, these two are the new heroes, and then that's pretty much it. So you get a good, you know, good rules update even if you don't want to play resistance, but uh, you still get some new stuff. Scourge is up next. New pictures there. Uh, Scourge, they get a couple of new units, the Destroyer Pack, Annihilators, uh, Reaver Heavy Gunship, Harbinger Assault Dropship, Stalker, Ravager. Really like the art style too of these guys. Um, might, be, might be doing some tabletop readies on those guys. <laughs> so these are the two new uh, two heroes, Eden's Dinosaur and the the Cave Breaker. So looks almost a lot. Looks a lot like uh, uh, what is that movie? Um, Prometheus. Yes, that's what I was thinking. All right, uh, PHR Post Human Republic. Some new stuff there. These models are really awesome too, especially for the scale and the detail on them. Um, just ridiculous. So really high quality stuff. If you haven't got to play around with it or seen it before, uh, I really do recommend you go check them out. Uh, just just purely on aesthetics and, and quality. Just go check them out. Um, PHR again, new walkers, the Apollo Striker and the Eros Strike Walker. Probably butchered that word, whatever. Uh, Hades Type 4 Walker, the awesome scorpion tank. Um, this is one of the newer ones. It has eight damage points, basically, so it can get take eight points of damage before it's, it's gone. That's a lot. Most things in the game are running two or three. Uh, infantry is one, so any idea. So if that gives you kind of a, a scale of how much damage it can take. Uh, Mercury Scout Drone Squad, Angelos Jet Skimmer, Helios Jet Skimmer, the two heroes for them as well. Marcus Barros, and I'm not going to butcher her name. <laughs> All right, then you have the Shaltari, which are the uh, skimmer guys, the orange alien kind of cool guys. Shaltari tribes, more info, backstory on them, what they've been up to. Uh, the Dream Snare, the Fire Drake, Dream Snare, Fire Drake. Really awesome looking stuff. Total War Shrine, came in heavy grav tank, Tarantula Battle Strider, uh, Bird Eater Battle Strider. <laughs> this one. Um, High War Chief Ramses and their two heroes, War Chief Isis, the clairvoyance. And then we have more background for them, and voila, the resistance. Some really cool sculpts, really cool new models. Um, talking to David about the theme of the resistance is uh, they are one of the first true kind of swarm armies. Uh, they have to make do with what they can scrap up and salvage. Uh, some of their stuff is old, old technology, but it still functions. So it's got uh, kind of like analog versus uh, nuclear if you've watched uh, Pacific Rim, which makes no sense, but whatever. <laughs> They're tough. Their flyers are, are tough and, and hardy, um, and they have a swarm mentality, so they run at you. And, they, and this is the entire Resistance faction, so if you are interested in playing the Resistance, you definitely want to get this book. So uh, it talks about the technology, like I was saying. It's a lot of converted civilian vehicles. Um, they do have the uh, uh, the drill, which I'll get into in a second. Um, anyway, this talks about the different technologies, converted civilian systems, high crew capacity, uh, low a low, uh, the thrusters actually rotate, rotate low, so low atmosphere thrusters, custom built additions, um, air cushioned vehicles, so hovered hovered transports and stuff like that. Legacy systems, they have helicopters instead of like hovercraft all over the place. Um, they have old school stuff too, like treads and extra armor, all that fuss, fun stuff. Base independence, secondary armaments, um, Gen 1 technologies. So it just goes in there. They actually also have uh, stolen weapons or captured weapons. Like they have some scourge weapons right there. They also have homebrew weapons, um, converted cannons and servo mounts and all that fun stuff. So they're cool. This bad boy, the drill, is really cool. David was saying that, uh, the creator was saying that, this thing basically pops up in uh, in your enemy's deployment zone and can function almost like an additional board edge. So, if you're not familiar with Drop Zone Commander, one of the big themes is that you go into places, you take the objective, and you don't just hold it. You actually want to extract the objective. So, having an additional point with which you can extract the objective is huge because you get almost like three times the victory points for extracting versus just holding objective at the end of the game. So. That's pretty awesome. Uh, this is more detail on the uh, ho how the hovercraft function, um, that kind of stuff. They have the uh, Leviathan, which is massive. 
the Kraken, which is uh, a little bit smaller, and then the Lift Hawk, which uh, obviously drop zone, right? So that's one of the drop ships. Um, breaching drill, barrel bomber, Hell Hog, which is one of their fighters. Uh, lots of guns, lots of crazy stuff, as you can see down here. Pretty awesome. Cyclones, little Apache Chit, yeah, technicals. Uh, little wagons, <laughs> fire wagon. Then you've got the M9 Hannibal and the N20 Zukov. These are their tanks. Um, comparison again a bit to the Scorpion, this heavy tank or this Hannibal tank has two damage points, and the Zukov also has two damage points. So these are pretty big tanks compared to the Scorpion, uh, who's massive, who has eight hull points basically. So uh, battle bus, the MT90 Jackson looks a little bit like a PT cruiser with tracks. So. And then the M3 Alexander, this is the big ship, This or the big tank. This one actually has five damage points. So again, trying to give you a, a sense of scale, how many how many hits they can take. So um, Thunderstorm Custom, Resistance Fighters, Occupation Veterans, uh, Free Riders, Berserkers, Archangel Pathfinder Squadron, Marine Force Recon Team. Uh, and then they actually have four heroes, depending on uh, what you want to play. Uh, these two... And then these two are the uh, the feral heroes. So these two guys, this is Carl Foley and Jesse Adams. And then the two feral heroes, Salakan and Gunnar of Elysium. So it's pretty awesome. And then the uh, Resistance Army list, uh, all that fun stuff. And then more pictures of just pretty sweet minis. So anyway, that's pretty much it for this uh, rundown here. Uh, guest featurettes. Uh, the drop zone, um, city board stuff, and of course the index. So, and there will be more stuff. Check them out, hawkwargames.com. Again, this is the pretty much the end of this rundown for Drop Zone Commander, the new Reconquest Phase One book from Warhawk Games. Uh, this is Adam here from Bulls. If you like what you're watching, go ahead and throw us a like, subscribe down at the bottom of the page. Really do appreciate that. Um, but yeah, have a good one. Mm -hmm.